a goddamn gonna do like that. That in my opinion, that is a violator gets to try to get the lawyers on me. <laughs> so wait. First, you ignored me when I tried to just ask you for respect. Then you invite me on your podcast. Then you try to have Charlemagne defame my character. See, I'm going to have to call a lawyer and see if I got a defamation of character lawsuit against you because I just got a cease and desist saying that I said some things I shouldn't have said. But my opinion of you is that you are a piece of shit. What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everybody that's tuning in. Yo, we are continuing a commentary on Kwame Brown, and it's due to the fact that the lamestream media, a lot of these black blogs refuse to speak, especially the major ones, right? They refuse to speak on it from Kwame's behalf. Uh, they're being silent. Uh, they don't want to offend Charlemagne or Matt Barnes or Steven Jackson. So we're going to get on what Charlemagne has done next. Now, I recently did a video about how down bad Charlemagne was, but he's incredibly down bad now that he has sent out this cease and assist. And there were a lot of people that wanted to know my input on this. And when I saw this, it, it confirmed a lot of what I said in the other video. I'll put a link in the description box as well as uh, to Kwame Brown's uh, response. I'll link you to that. Make sure you go subscribe over there. You know, Charlemagne is a guy who is doing this because that's what he does. Uh, whenever he's caught up, whenever he's accused of something, he runs to his lawyers to go send out paperwork. And he sent this paperwork because of what Kwame was speaking about. Now, would he has sent this paperwork out, uh, you know, a couple of weeks ago before Kwame really took over the internet or took over social media, took social media by storm, got the people to side with him. No, he probably wouldn't. But because he's noticing the numbers, he's noticing that the engagement that people are actually listening to him. He ran to his lawyers because he did not like the fact that he was being called out for a situation that he was involved in, that he pled guilty to of what he had allegedly done to a young lady years ago he actually pled guilty by the way but he wants to send out cease and assist this isn't the first time he's done this you know uh and i want people to understand that this is what they do you know charlemagne's very corporate i don't care what these guys post on social media how they try to be relatable they're only relatable because they view other people and they try to emulate what they see other people do. But there's nothing relatable about Charlemagne. Uh, Charlemagne the, the snitch, Charlemagne the information poster. He started all this. What he could have done is kept it moving and not spoken about this like the rest of these black blogs have done. But he went, not only did he speak on it, he went and dug up information about Kwame Brown's father and his brother that nobody really knew. And even he said he had to call to confirm it. So why would you put it out there in front of your audience? Because you were trying to muddy somebody's name. And then when somebody responds and say something that you don't like, that may be true. Here you go running to the lawyers to shut them up. You can't shut everybody up. The tides are turning and the battle lines are drawn and you're losing. You're losing. The lamestream media is done. That's why they're running the YouTube and whatever platform that they, they can gain an audience at. Because no one cares about your corporate opinions. No one cares about your, as Kwame will say, go along the get along game. Like you protecting Matt Barnes, you protecting Steven Jackson. These are grown men. You don't need them to protect them. need you to protect them. But you're doing it anyway, and you're going very far. And you're you're traveling a dangerous path 
because when you start to dig up information about people and they respond a certain way, you cannot script that. And it all started because you went on your platform and, and the breakfast club still has a relatively big audience. And you went and put this man's family history out that he didn't even know. All because you wanted to protect Matt, Becky with the good hair barns, and Steven, I'm on my 10th blunt, Jackson. Okay? Those are the people that you wanted to protect. Even though they are used to talking tough, especially Matt Barnes. These guys talk tough, but when, they're, when their energy is matched... They want to run and hide. They want to cop, please. They want to beg you to come on their platforms. And if I was Kwame, I wouldn't go on their platforms. For what? You know, you, you know, you're getting bigger numbers than they are. Why would you go on their platform? It'd be a downgrade. He gained, he gains nothing from going on their platforms. So I wouldn't. You know, he gains absolutely nothing from going on their platforms. They need him. He doesn't need them. Okay. He built an audience by himself, speaking how he feels but that doesn't mean that charlemagne didn't allegedly do what he was accused of because according to documents he did plead guilty but i think that people need to stop trying to put out other people's information if they don't want their information put out there it's just that simple but when you are in full defense mode when you are trying to protect your buddies, when you see them getting roasted all over social media and you don't like it, here you go with the documents. Now, Kwame should sue you for what you're doing. For you putting out his family's information, he should send a cease and assist to you. But see, when you think that you're untouchable and when you think that the, the, the public opinion is going to be on your side and you have lawyers and you have friends in high places or low places, you think you can get away with stuff like that. You think you can get away with putting people's information out there. But the one thing Kwame didn't do is go to a lawyer and say, here, send cease and desist papers. Look at what they're saying about me. No, he got on video and reacted. And that made you want to run to your lawyers, even though you're the one who started the information putting out. You started this. You pled guilty. And the lamestream, I'm telling y'all, the lamestream media, the lame, the lamestream sports media, the woke lamestream sports media, you're done. It's over. The people are starting to see right through you. Your days are numbered as far as being relevant. If not, you're already done. And you're hanging on by a thread. You're hanging on there, right? You're hanging on. But it's not going to last. And I truly believe that this is going to backfire on you tremendously. When you start putting people's information out there, you make them a bigger sympathetic figure. But I guess you didn't think that too clearly through because... You put it out there in a way to try to make him look bad. But people, are, now there are people that will say, well, they were basically telling people not to mess with them. So in, in a sense, they were just telling people to back off and, and leave him alone. There's a way of doing that without talking about what his father did or what his brothers may or may not have done. And he got his information wrong on one of the brothers because according to Kwame, his brother was at work. He wasn't locked up. See, that's what happens when you don't have your facts straight. When you're the one that should have a cease and desist sent to you, you're the one who should be sued. Like, I would sue you. You putting out my family's information and you're getting stuff wrong, I would sue you. You want, you want, you want that lawyer energy? I'll give that lawyer energy. Now, Kwame handled his, his own way. But I find it funny that Charlemagne was so triggered by the response that he ran to his lawyers like stop the pain stop the pain <laughs> they're laughing at me they're they're making certain they're saying certain things that I may or may not have done allegedly I'm telling you man guys like that are not relatable 
you know those type of guys have sold out they are corporate entities that's what they are they are corporate charlemagne is corporate matt barnes is corporate stephen jackson is corporate the whole breakfast club and, and speaking of breakfast club you know he you know kwame also went at uh dj envy <laughs> You know, Steve, you know, that's the thing. Like, DJ Envy is the type of guy who, at times, he tries to act tough. But we know your wife runs that marriage, sir. We know your your wife is in control. She tells you what to do. But in the public eye, she lets you rock. You know, this, this is the same man, DJ Envy, right? I remember he tried to, to, to get tough with Desus and Meryl, right? But his own wife told him on their shared podcast that she's okay with men flirting with her and she's not going to stop them from doing that and she took offense to dj envy telling her why is she allowing men to flirt with her it's because your wife don't respect you and she don't see you as masculine and she wants that masculine energy in her life even if it's just flirting you don't present that so if a man flirts with your wife and tell her how good she look you know and wants to maybe hook up with her make her feel good about herself doesn't mean she's gonna do it but she likes a man who's gonna come at her aggressively and flirt in, in a flirtatious manner and give her that masculine energy that she doesn't get from dj envy so we already know what type of guy that is we all know what type of guy charlamagne god is and what he has allegedly may or may not have done. You have Angela Yee. Um, she's very opinionated as well. And, you know, she's a she's a groupie in plain sight. And you got that, that mix of people. <laughs> you have that mix of people there, man. And I just thought it was hilarious how he went at them. And I'm going to continue to make these videos. Make sure y'all go subscribe to Kwame Brown. Like this video and share it. I know people think that I should be making videos like this. I don't give a shit. I'm going to continue to hammer at these woke, lamestream media types because this is what they deserve. They deserve somebody going in on them who was in the NBA, who was ridiculed for years, and now has a platform to go in. How can you not, how can you not like that? <laughs>